In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a multi-agent chatbot with Pydantic AI, Web Scraper, and Llama 3.3 to make a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use in retrieval augmented generation and large language model-based workflows. Structured output improves accuracy and clarity and makes the data easier to understand. Many of us know how frustrating it can be to validate or convert data into the correct format. You deal with complex data formats when working with interface data. If you're not careful, you could end up with bugs that are really hard to find. That's where Pydantic comes in. It is a well-known tool for data validation and plays a key role behind the scenes. OpenAI, Anthropic, Langchain, and Llama Index all use Pydantic as a core component, responsible for important functions such as data validation. Not long ago, the Pydantic team launched Pydantic AI, an AI agent framework based on Pydantic. It is designed to simplify the complexity of AI application development and address various pain points in AI agent development. On Friday, December 6th Eastern Time, Meta announced the launch of a new Llama series generative AI model, Llama 3.3 with 7 billion parameters, also known as Llama 3.370B. CEO Zuckerberg said on his social media Instagram that this is the last major AI model update this year, and the next step will be the debut of Llama 4 next year. Llama 3.3 is now available for download from online sources, such as the Olama official website and the AI development platform Hugging Face. Llama 3.3 outperformed Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, OpenAI's GPT-4.0, and Amazon's Nova Pro released earlier this week in industry benchmarks. Zuckerberg said this is the last major AI model update this year, and the next step will be the appearance of Llama 4 next year. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. Let me ask a simple, what is the latest LLM released this year? If you look at how the Pydantic AI generates the output, you will see that when I ask a question and click on the search button, the research function retrieves the current date, passes the query and date to the AI agent and fetches search results using the Tavily client. The AI agent processes these results, organizes them into structured fields and returns summarized content, including a title, main article, and bullet points. This streamlined system combines AI capabilities with a user-friendly interface to deliver concise and visually appealing information, retrieval, and summarization. In this video, we will discuss what Pydantic AI is, what the features of Pydantic AI, the differences between Langchain and Llama Index, and how Pydantic AI can be used to create a super AI agent. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Pedantic AI advocates type-safe operations, structured response validation, and a novel dependency injection system, all within the familiar field of Python best practices. This makes it a valuable tool for developers seeking to leverage the power of generative AI without sacrificing code quality or security. Pydantic AI is worth exploring, especially its integration with Logfire to enhance debugging and monitoring capabilities. Pydantic AI is a Python agent framework developed by the Pydantic team that is designed to build production level applications using generative AI. It provides model agnostic support, type safe validation, structured response handling, and seamless integration with various LLM providers. The framework emphasizes simplicity and reliability while providing powerful features such as dependency injection, streaming responses, and comprehensive monitoring through Logfire integration. Type safe response validation leverage Pydantic to ensure that LLM output conforms to the expected data structure providing strong validation for production applications. Dependency injection system, a novel type safe system that allows customization of proxy behavior and facilitates testing and evaluation driven development. Model agnostic architecture, supports multiple LLM providers, OpenAI, Gemini, Grok, 
and provides a simple interface for additional model support, streaming response processing, ability to process and validate streaming responses in real time, including structured data validation during streaming. The differences between these frameworks are reflected not only in their technical features, but also in their different understandings and practical directions of large language model application development. Pydantic AI takes engineering practice and production reliability as the primary consideration with a strict type system and standardized development model at its core. Langchain provides developers with a convenient way to quickly build applications through flexible component design and a rich ecosystem. Llama Index focuses on document processing and knowledge retrieval and has formed unique advantages in data processing and index optimization. Before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. For this, we need to install the necessary Python libraries. Firstly, we will start by installing the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install of the libraries below. Once installed, we import Pydantic AI, Data Classes, Tabli, Streamlit, and DevTools. Set up an API token for your LLM provider. Pydantic works directly with OpenAI, Grok, and Vertex AI. But in this video, we will use Olama Now has built-in compatibility with the OpenAI Chat Completions API, making it possible to use more tooling and applications with Olama locally. We will use Tavali to scrape the browser, filter, and aggregate data. We define three classes. The first, Search Data Classes, a data class designed to store search-related information, specifically the maximum number of results and today's date. The second class, Research Dependencies, is another data class that stores only today's data. The third class, Research Result, extends base model and represents a research article containing fields for the article's title, main body, and a set of bullet points summarizing key points. The field function is used to add descriptions to each attribute, which helps with validation and documentation. I create an Agent Alama 3.3 for research tasks. It uses the Research Dependencies data class for input and the Research Result class for output. Then we write a system prompt which instructs it to identify keywords from a query, perform multiple searches, and then combine those results into a detailed response. We create an Add Current Date function to instruct the agent to identify strong keywords from a given question. Perform three to five searches with those keywords and combine the results into a detailed response while ensuring the information is accurate and current. We define two asynchronous functions, GetSearch and DoSearch. GetSearch is a tool used by the search agent to perform a search. It takes in the search query and the search context, including the max results, and uses the Tavoli client to retrieve the search results, returning them as a dictionary. Do search prepares the necessary dependencies by creating an instance of search data class, which includes the current date and max results. It then runs search agent with these dependencies and the query awaiting the results. Let's set up a Streamlit app where the user can input a query and specify the number of search results to retrieve. After we click the button to initiate the search, the app fetches the relevant research data, including the title, main article, and key takeaways and displays it in an organized format. Pydantic AI is a fantastic library, but there are many ways to do the same thing. It took me a lot of effort to understand and use the examples I show here. Hopefully, you can use these examples to get up to speed with Pydantic faster and with much less effort than I did. Whether building a simple chatbot or a complex system, Pydantic AI offers features that make the development process smoother and the final product more dependable.